Welcome to the spoken tutorial on creating and burning CD DVD using K3B. In this tutorial, you will learn how to burn files onto a CD. You will also learn to change the settings, save the project, and to name the CD. What can you do with K3B? K3B is used to create and burn files onto CD DVD. Burning files is copying files from desktop onto a CD DVD. K3B supports all file formats to burn, that is audio, video or data. Here we are using K3B 2.0.2 on Ubuntu Linux 12.04. You need to ensure that you have inserted a CD DVD into the drive for this tutorial. I have also added an audio file to my folder, my K3B CD. We had created and saved this folder on the Ubuntu desktop earlier. I have added an audio file, Learning K3B, to this folder. You can use any audio file of your choice. First, click Dash Home which is the round button on the top left corner of your computer desktop. The search box appears. Now type K3B. The K3B icon appears. Click on it to open the application. Let us create and burn a CD using K3B. For this, click on New Project icon. From the drop-down that appears, Select New Data Project. Select the Home folder on the top left panel. Now we can see the files and folders in the Home folder. Next, click on Desktop. You can choose whichever folder or file you have on your machine. For this demo, I will select the folder My K3B CD. So, I will right-click on my K3B CD folder and select Add to Project option. Now you can see the selected folder in the bottom panel. Next, let us create a folder on the CD and move the My K3B CD folder to it. Right-click on the bottom left panel. From the list of options that appear, select New Folder. We can see a dialog box. Type a folder 1 in the text box. Click OK. From the bottom panel, select My K3B CD. Next, select the file Writer1. Drag and drop the selected file Writer1 to Folder1. To check if the file Writer1 has been copied, let us click on the Folder1. Here, we can see the file Writer1. Now, from the bottom panel, click on the Burn icon. The Data Project K3B window appears. Next, let's change the setting in this Data Project K3B window. Select Writing tab and here, under Writing mode, we will select Auto. Notice that Auto is the default setting. Now, let us select File System tab. It is set as Linux, Unix plus Windows by default. So there is no need to make any changes here. Now let us go to MISC tab. And here, under Multi-Session, select Auto. Now select Burn to burn the data to the CD. The burning process begins. Here we can see the progress status bar in the window. Once the burning is complete, the CD ejects automatically. The files are now copied onto the CD. This is the end of the burning process. Let us burn and save audio files on another CD. First, ensure that a new CD is inserted 
and the drive is closed. As before, go to New Project and select New Audio CD Project. Here, browse to the My K3B CD folder from the top left panel. Now let us select the audio file Learning K3B in the top right panel. Next, drag and drop the audio file onto the bottom right panel. Let's check if we have dragged and dropped the correct file. You can check the file details here in the bottom panel. For this file, we can see that the artist, title and file name are displayed. Now, let us learn how to burn this audio. For this, from the main toolbar, click Save. We can see the Save as K3B window. Here, type a name for your project in the text box. I will type My Work. Now, click Save. Now, click Burn. It opens Audio Project K3B window. Here we shall use the default tab settings. However, you can make changes in the tabs as per your requirements. Now, again click Burn. We can see the Progress Status window. And the CD ejects after burning finishes. This means that saving and burning the audio file is completed. This brings us to the end of this tutorial on creating and burning CD, DVD using K3B. In this tutorial, we learnt about the K3B interface. We also learnt how to do manual selection of files, burning CD with different format files, save the project, and name the CD. Here is an assignment for you. Burn two audio files onto a CD. Watch the video available at the following link. It summarizes the Spoken Tutorial project. If you do not have good bandwidth, you can download and watch it. The Spoken Tutorial project team conducts workshops using Spoken Tutorials. Give certificates for those who pass an online test. For more details, please write to contact at spoken-tutorial.org. Spoken Tutorial Project is a part of the Talk to a Teacher Project. It is supported by the National Mission on Education through ICT-MHRD, Government of India. More information on this mission is available at spoken-tutorial.org slash n-m-e-i-c-t hyphen intro. This tutorial has been contributed by Daisy Cruise Solutions Private Limited. Thanks for joining.